Hey gang, Big Ed here, in the bunker. Where I've been every day for the last five months. Hope you all are doing well and hanging in there and being safe, wearing masks. I wanted to talk to you briefly about the new record that my dear friends Espen and Alex have just released. It came out Friday. August 14th, a few days ago, 2020. It's, um, it's pretty good, if I do say so myself. We're very, very proud of it. And it was very challenging because we started it right before the lockdown and the pandemic started. So we had to finish the whole thing long distance. And I've worked long distance before, but never every single piece, one at a time, layer by layer, um, for 10 songs. It was work. <laughs> it was laborious. But it actually came out great. And part of it is because Espen Holtan and Alex Lindbach are amazing musicians. They never do what you expect them to do. It's a beautiful thing. I love these guys. They're sweethearts. They're very easy to work with. That's why we kept the Mad King Edmund band as three of us. Although this time, my dear friend Gary Goodlow helped out, came by the uh, Lockdown Central and did some overdubs for us to help it move it along. Otherwise, it would have taken much longer and it wouldn't have been as good because Gary's awesome. But Espen and Alex are very unique, innovative cutting edge, interesting musicians, and they're always coming at it from different angles. And just when you think you've got it together, they deconstruct it and put it back together. I love it. It's extremely challenging and I've learned a lot from working with them. Um, if you are familiar with our first record called Best True Stories, and they all were true stories, except one, and we're not going to tell you which one. We did uh, that record was completely improvised Best True Stories in a studio in Halden, Norway, where Espen and Alex are from. And we cut it live over the course of two days. Um, got amazing reception. We didn't know. We were just making stuff up and having a good time and doing what interested us. And we were really shocked that it caught on and people related to it. So we hope you relate to this one. It's topical. Yes. Um, current events. Perhaps. But I wouldn't call it political. I would say that we're just telling the truth of what's going on in the world today. Um, I've said it before on social media. I don't care who you vote for as long as you vote. But I think no matter what side you're on, and we should all be on the same side, but you can relate to the fact that this album addresses everyday issues that we all have to deal with. Like for, for instance, when I was growing up, almost everybody I knew had a pension. Say goodbye to that. That hasn't been true for quite some time. So you give your life to a corporation, what happens? Nothing. They let you go when you're, in the old days, you could retire when you were 65 or whatever. Now, as soon as you hit 50, they want to get rid of you and get somebody Younger and cheaper, no pensions. So that's just one of the issues we dealt with on the song Stone Cold. On the song Burning, that started about the, believe it or not, the Ferguson um, issue from a few years ago. And then over the last three years, just watching what was happening, it was just blowing my mind that, so yeah. So Burning started with Ferguson is now what's going on today. So there's a lot of that stuff. And my favorite song is the last song on the record called The Afterglow because it's like a post-apocalyptic 
dream nightmare I've been having about going back to my childhood home and nothing being there. So um, I think there'll be a lot for you to uh, relate to, hopefully. Um, and I hope you check it out. I'm going to put all the links below. It's in every pl digital platform. You can stream it. You can download it, whatever it may be. And it will be out on vinyl eventually. There's another record label. Safe and Sound Recordings in Norway put it out as they did our first record. But there will be, there's a record label that wants to do the first record and this new one on vinyl. And that will be happening sooner or later. We thought it was going to happen already, but look where we are. So there will be vinyl sometime in the next few months, hopefully. But for now, you've got downloads, streaming, however it is you wish to enjoy music. We just hope you listen to it and you like it, okay? So that's the uh, DL from Matt King Edmund. Big Ed, signing off. Peace. <laughs>